If you're looking for the lady, she said she was leaving town. She didn't leave any message. It's better this way. Gail and I were nothing but bad luck for her. I don't think so. That's not true at all. Don't you get it, Digo? Angela is leaving town because she wants to help you. You ran away from living your life by depending on her to keep you going. She figures that as long as she's around, you'll never be able to stand up on your own two feet again. Angela. Are you just going to let her leave? Uh, hey, <clears throat> Kisala. Kisala. She must be at the station. You might get there in time if you leave now. Go on. Hurry, Digo. Thanks. Let's get to the station. Angela! Uh. Digo. I'm sorry. I didn't want to tell you. You know me. I'm just no good at farewells. Don't go, Angela. Stay here. Please. Oh. I need you, Angela. You're the only one. Tico. Having second thoughts? No. 
You're the one that stopped me from going. And now you're leaving? I'm sorry. I have to figure out how to redeem myself. Please understand. Will you wait for me? Until I return? Right now, I'm not a man who can make you happy. But out there, I plan to find the part of me that can. I'm sorry. I've made you wait for too long. I... I can hardly ask you for more than you've given me. Do you really think that? You're so spoiled. You know full well what I'm going to do, don't you? Angela... But I'm so happy. I've waited so long for you to come back from where you were. Welcome home, Digo. We have no more use for you. Scram! I'm afraid that's my line, Zax. What are you trying to do? You tricked me. Daytron has the tablet now. But this war won't end. Am I right? <laughs> so what if you are? You know my history. You used that promise to lure me in just so you could use me. So what? What do you hope to accomplish right now? Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter anymore. You're about to die anyway. Kill him!
coming back after all. Can you see that, Digo? It's our star. Our... Mr. Morardi, I just wanted to inform you that we have received the tablet as promised. I've placed the 200 million Zen in your bank account as you requested. Consider this transaction complete. Best wishes to you, boss. Jaster! Hmm? Uh. What's this? From now on, you're part of our crew. So, that means you're now in cahoots with a bunch of lawless space pirates. Pirates, huh? It looks like the tablet is being transported directly to Rosa. Rosa? It's a slave planet under Longardian control. Super boring, too. It's all desert. I wonder what they plan on doing with it there. We'll find out soon enough. Don't lose sight of it. Hey, make sure you stay close behind. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Kisala? Uh, what happened? Kisala. It's okay. I'll go see. Are you all right, Kasala? You saw that, huh? When did it start? A while ago. It was never this bad before. But lately it's been happening more often. Have you seen the doctor? No. This isn't anything he could cure. I know what it is. Something's trying to warn me. But don't tell anyone, okay, Lilica? It doesn't bother me, really. Kisala. Lilika, Kisala, we'll be entering Rosa's gravitational sphere. Better come inside. It's dangerous.
Ladies and gentlemen, the salvation you've been waiting for all these years has finally arrived! With this magnificent technology, a Longardian victory is all but guaranteed! So now, let us behold! A grand masterpiece of Datron know-how! The new battleship, the Emperor! A look! Such a splendid combination of elegance and ferocity! And behold its power! A perfect complement to the ruler of a galaxy! Chairman, please reconsider. Introducing a ship like this will only magnify the conflict even further. Chairman! With all due respect, Admiral, it's because of lukewarm commanders like yourself that this war shows no sign of ending. You may be a military man, but you refuse to bulk up your arsenal. How can you protect yourself from the enemy with no weapons? You can't stand for justice when there's no power behind it. Justice? What justice? All you're really interested in is profiting from this war. How much do you need to profit before you're satisfied? That's enough! You're not the one deciding. Uh, now, Chairman, what do you say? Uh, sir? <laughs> yes. His Excellency has decided we shall take 300. Uh, sir! Thank you for your business. Chairman Van Dersch of the Longardia War Council has placed an order for 300 units! Uh, ooh. Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> I bid you farewell! Well, congratulations, you handled that beautifully. Very nice timing, as always, Norma. This deal was just like taking candy from a baby. And aren't you looking dazzling, as always? Oh, oh sir, you're such a flirt. <laughs> By the way, Norma, how's that thing coming along, hmm? Oh, that? I've received reports that it's just about to arrive at the site. Is that so? Well, then, we better be on our way. the transport ship landed near the ancient ruins in the south of the Silverzar Desert. Oh, the ancient ruins, huh? I always figured there was some kind of connection between the Great Tablets and all these planetary ruins. I was right after all. You sure are a sharp one, boss! Oh, shut up! They'll spot us for sure if we land this close. What should we do, Captain? Let's hit the port in Salgan. From there, we'll approach through the desert. The desert? Uh, not too sure about that. That's the only way in. If we approach in plain sight, they'll spot us before we get there. 
Besides, Jaster knows this planet inside out. I say we go through the desert. You scallywags have a lot of nerve to be whipping up strategies, you know. Of course, as the first mate, I'll have to okay anything you come up with. Give it a rest, Puffykins. Well, Captain, what should we do? Why, 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 why I never! Hmm. Now listen up, you dogs! We'll land at the port and proceed through the desert. Now quit dawdling! Jaster? Rosa's your home planet, huh? Must know your way around. Of course. The desert is through the residential area's south gate. We'll make our way through Silvazar towards the ancient ruins. Don't worry. We can do it. your adventures coming along, Mark? Something terrible's happened! It's Daytron! They took the Great Tablet! Daytron? I see now. So that would explain why things have been so frantic around here. It all makes sense. But it's okay. Jaster and his team won't give up. They're going across the desert to take it back. I've never seen anything like this. I love traveling with these guys. I'm having a blast! Don't do anything silly now. Let me make an upgrade to Steve's self-defense system, just in case. No, don't! Mark. Everyone's doing their best. The others would be in trouble if Steve ever ran away. You're right. I'm sorry I shouldn't have assumed. But take care of yourself, Mark. Huh? 
Oh, it's you. I didn't see you come in. I was kind of distracted. Um, here's the data you asked me to get for you, Dr. Picacho. I was able to pull it off the mainframe directly. Thank you very much. Sure. So, uh, how's Mark been doing lately? He's just fine. I feel terrible for making you spy for me like this, especially since you and Mark were childhood friends. No, it's all right, Doctor. It doesn't matter. I'm happy as long as Mark's doing okay. Well, see ya. Oh, by the way, some Daytron investigators came by the other day trying to dig up information. Be careful, okay? I will. Thank you. running type.
wish I could do this to the other two! Ah! 
If we go through the desert from here, we'll reach the ruins. But this area can be dangerous. It's rife with beasts. Uh, that scares me a little. But as long as you're here, I don't mind. <sighs> I've never been a big fan of deserts myself. This is the only way we can approach without the enemy spotting us. Oh, but I sure do hate this heat. Oh. Hey, Jasta, you sure this is all right? I mean, I really don't want to drop dead out there. We'll be fine. Come on. Well now, this isn't half bad. Fall behind, okay? Don't go running off just anywhere. I'm glad I'm back on Rosa, but this is no time to relax.